Uh, it feels good to be back home, actually. I slept for like 10 hours, which was nice. Um, got all my things unpacked now. Got all my laptop shit set up now. Um, I'm actually gonna now, gotta edit now the vlog from yesterday because, you know, it's gotta get out on time. But one thing that I realized yesterday is how crazy it is. No, how, how much of an impact um, not getting proper sleep has on your, like, I don't know, everything. Like, brain, creativity, mood. Because yesterday I didn't get a lot of sleep, right? Like, I was traveling for 36 hours. Um, and, um, I mean, I slept a bit on the train. I slept a bit on the on the plane, but it wasn't proper sleep, so I was tired. And, like, yesterday just felt like the whole day just was, like, passing by, and I was just, like, I wasn't fully in it, you know? Everything was just dull. Um, I wasn't creative. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, in a super good mood. Like, I wasn't in a bad mood. I was just, like, very, Apatic is that the word you just like you it's just a weird feeling and I Get that too when I you know sleep multiple nights for five hours in a row or something and I think some people it it's it's something that you might not realize if you're fully in it because it's just your normal state now but um, yeah Sleep deprivation is a scary thing and it happens so fast and it has an impact on everything your health too right anyway that's just an observation i had yesterday i don't want to feel that way ever it was just a weird feeling anyway now we gotta go there and do some work i realized one of the weird things now that i'm back in germany and not in south africa anymore is Flushing the toilet because I don't think I ever mentioned it, but um, South Africa actually has a big drought problem like It doesn't properly rain. So a lot of the water reserves are pretty empty It's actually gotten better over the last year, but it's still pretty bad. So one of the things you don't do in South Africa is flush At least the small thing. That's actually a cute saying that says if it's yellow let it mellow if it's brown flush it down and so, yeah, it's very weird to, you know, flush the toilet again. Also, I had a long shower this morning. Like, you can't do long showers in South Africa. You literally turn on the water, put on soap, get rid of the soap, and you're done. And I could have a long shower this morning, which was amazing. But yeah, you know, those are things you take for granted if you live in these, like, wealthy countries that are not necessarily you know, that others can take for granted. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of cool to be flushing your pee again, you know? Yeah. All right, I just got off a call with my um, partner on the LinkedIn agency and remember how I think last week I talked about how I decided and realized that it's time to scale um, and, you know, build this out a bit more. And so one of the things we talked about in our call is um, we made a list of things we both shouldn't be doing anymore because it can easily be outsourced and someone else can do it. Things we need to be doing because it's stuff that really only we can do, at least at this point. And then the third thing is tasks we need to do right now so we can, so we can in the future, in the, in the soon foreseeable future, outsource these tasks so that means for example create process sheets where you literally write down all the all the steps for certain tasks so anyone who you find to outsource the task to knows exactly like what to do first what to do second break down the task maybe do a video tutorial um and yeah i think at this point it's really more so about finding a new client or finding the next new couple of clients we can onboard um, because once we got that, um, we can start actually outsourcing stuff and it makes sense to outsource because we can finance that through the additional revenue that's coming in. And then we also get a better understanding on how, like, you know, once our time 
schedule gets more and more um, crammed, we realize where time needs to be um, refocused. But yeah, so we're moving forward with that. Um, just wanted to, you know, update you on that. Um, and then hopefully in, we have October and Nove November, I want to onboard two new clients in November. Um, yeah. So one thing I just got thinking about is the fact that, well, today I, today I worked a lot and I was very productive, but that also meant for me that I didn't really post anything on my story or on Instagram or spend any time on like social media. And, um, like one of the things that I really like doing right now and that helps me help me a lot and help me a lot is putting my phone into airplane mode right like just putting it there leaving it there and it helps because it, it somehow triggers a switch in my brain that tells me even if I wanted to I can't post right now because because it is an airplane mode obviously like I could turn it off but still my brain thinks that way like I can't even post right now and so my mind never even goes into the place of like Oh, you know what what I just did like I could post it or like how how could I like frame this what just happened in a funny way to post it because that's what my brain usually did like it always because that's what I'm trying to do with my Instagram stories like right like I'm trying to make the ordinary life interesting and funny um, because I'm not doing anything else except an ordi ordinary life at least 95% of my day and so I'm trying to make that funny but that also means that whatever I'm doing that my brain not only focuses on whatever I'm doing but it also focuses on okay how can I frame whatever I'm doing in a funny way and that I realized that was holding me back a lot of my productivity and putting my phone into airplane mode and literally not focusing on it and not judging myself for not posting I could get very productive but it also means that I'm not posting and so I want to post because I want to document this journey I mean that's the purpose of this whole vlog right like I can be more productive if I'm not posting this vlog like I have to edit this every day and I have to think about this if I'm just not doing it I'm gonna get more things done which from the sense of like I'm doing this to document whatever I'm doing if I'm not vlogging that makes a lot of sense so why am i vlogging but for me this is like really about the value that this vlog has not now because like i'm not trying to make entertainment pieces like i realize that this is like boring and repetitive and and like i do realize that i'm like not putting the effort into the vlogs that i could have been putting in because i want to be efficient with my time but this is in five to ten years when things play out the way I think they will play out and so I was thinking maybe there is no balance between you know posting social media and being productive in the sense that it's always a trade-off like obviously I can I can't post more on social media but they will come at the cost of my productivity I can remove all of my social media and be 100% productive but then I won't be documenting and I can't provide the value I think I'm providing by documenting. So for me, it's not so much like how can I be productive and post on social media? Because I think it's not possible. Maybe I'm wrong. At least it is possible, but it's always a direct trade-off. The more I'm posting and the more I'm thinking about social media, the less, less productive I am to whatever I'm building elsewhere with my startup and with the, with, with the consulting and all of that stuff. So really the only decision i need to make is like okay if the the one thing comes at the cost of the other thing how much do i want and need to be documenting to reach the goals i want to reach while still achieving the things i want to achieve i think also it's very late in the day so maybe i'm just rambling but that's been something that's on my mind you know and with here we talk about things that are on my mind i guess um but yeah i'm gonna sign off now this is the vlog from yesterday it's exporting right now so i appreciate you for watching love you bye I
hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love But why not? Holy shit, I just wanna make a trip to the China